Hey folks, just in the garage here, cleaning the clay slash mud slash rocks off my truck. And this is just from the one side. It's just ridiculous. I went bear hunting yesterday and it was raining and the roads were very, very, very mucky. It was quite fun sliding around you know but oh my goodness this this mud just sticks to everything and yeah i've been at it for roughly i don't know maybe an hour and this is just it's not uh it's starting to get clean in there but man just caked it everywhere Let's go look at the other side here. All right, we're on the other side. Let's grab my light. And yeah, I've already scraped some of this mud off. Yeah, this clay, and it's just stuck everywhere. It gets up into the leaf springs. It's just everywhere. It's taking me forever. Get this off. After, yeah, after I, after I spray all this off, I think I might put some silicone or something up under the, the wheel welds just to help, you know, have that mud kind of come off. And yeah, this is already from me scraping mud off. And it just gets up everywhere underneath the skid plate. See so yeah, how this is definitely not going to be the last time it gets this muddy. Because it's what I use the, tr the truck for, right? It's the Pro. And it handles fantastic off road. It was just a blast yesterday. Drifting along the back roads, range roads. I was up in the, the oil patch fields and uh, the logging roads. And yeah, those logging roads aren't maintained very well, right? So it's, uh, it's a lot of mud, but it's fun. And then, yeah, in the fall, I'm definitely gonna get this thing undercoated. But yeah, just look at, look at the mud and clay just from that one side. It's a lot. And it's a lot of work to get it off. If you guys have any suggestions on how to remove all this mud and clay, other than just a pressure washer, let me know. Because man, it's taken a while. And sometimes I have to, you know, get real close to stuff. I'm a little bit worried of you know, damaging stuff, especially the paint. When you get too close with the pressure washer, gotta be careful. But up, up in there by the shock, if I can get in there a little more. That's a bad spot. Gets kicked right up in there. I still see some on top. It's hard to get. Might even have to take the wheels off just to get everything. Yeah. Yeah, there's still lots in there. But pay the price for having fun, I guess. That's what off roading's all about. Found another good spot where mud likes to hide. It's this front cross member. Just stick the pressure washer nozzle in there. Yeah, just chocolate milk. Gotta get it out. 
I'm just under the truck now. I just wanted to highlight some spots where I found mud likes to hide. So right up behind the rear bumper, you can see there's still lots of mud there. And I mean, I've been, I've been spraying. I've been at this, trying to get all the mud off for almost four hours. Just, uh, it's because it's this clay, right? It just sticks to everything. But yeah, I just wanted to highlight all the spots I found that it stuck. So yeah, spare tire, that's an obvious one. And yeah, let's keep scooching forward here. And right here, this, is, this was a bad one. Mud loves to, by the leaf spring, loves to collect there and in behind the drum brakes, the amazing drum brakes. And right in here, there's still mud in there. You know, Toyota's smart. They have a drain hole down here, um, down here. But if that's clogged, then that mud is just gonna hold water and eventually rust, right? So gotta make sure to get rid of that. We'll go to the other side now. So on the other side, Squeeze over here. I found this was the worst Just because of how they root the exhaust um, I feel like this shock here is pushed closer to the um, leaf springs and Because of that this space right here It's real it gets real Caked in in mud when you're off-roading. Sorry my lights in the way there but again there's drain holes here on this bottom one you can see that yeah there's see this drain hole there and at the back too right here just got to make sure those drain holes are, are clear I can put my finger in there and I feel I feel rocks still up in there let's go behind there actually so yeah we're just in, in behind the the shock here the mount I guess you'd say and yeah it's real good to spray in that hole get rid of all that mud because then you can spray in that this hole here and then it all comes out down here And yeah, up in here is still some mud in there. Got to get rid of that. The final mounting point for the leaf spring. And then obviously under the running boards, it's going to be prime spot. Mud to stay. Here as well. Still quite a bit of mud there. And that's a very important spot to get rid of that mud because there's no rust protection there. Just straight metal. And yeah, before I undercoat this truck, I want all this mud to be gone. I just want bare metal and adhesives before the, they spray the undercoating. Up in there, the transmission, yeah, into the transmission. Yeah, I'm just showing this because, you know, it's fun to play in the mud, folks. It is. It's, you know, this truck is amazing off-road, but it takes a long time to get it clean after. And it's, it's real important to clean it after. You know, if you leave this stuff, it's just going to rust. So it needs to all come out. And I'm going to have it spotless under here. One key thing that's 
nice because it's a truck and has ground clearance. You can just lay underneath it and you don't need uh, to put it up on a hoist. Unlike my Honda Element, it was quite tight underneath. Still lots of mud there. You know, I thought I thought it was pretty clean, but clearly it's not. Another run, the running board, driver's side, it's quite caked. Let's check out the front. Another spot is underneath, if you have the TRD skid plate, underneath this TRD skid plate, it gets real caked. It's hard to see here, maybe in here. Mm. There you go, there it is. There's still quite a bit of mud there. It's much better than it was. And then after some fun in the mud, or any really off-roading, make sure to have a look at your boots. And any rubber bits. Make sure nothing got ripped from a tree branch or rock. And yeah, everything looks good. Other side, driver's side. Yeah, all the boots look good. Yeah, everything looks good. Alright, I'm gonna try to clean the rest of this.